Look, I'm calling to see if J.R. got a hold of Judge Samuelson yet. No, actually, he didn't come back to the office all afternoon. Oh, damn it, that was important. I know. So I called Judge Samuelson for you myself. I asked him to call you. Oh, good. Then I'll probably hear from him tomorrow. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome, Bobby. Good night. Good night. Did I just hear you say you talked to Judge Samuelson? Yes. Bobby needed to get in touch with him. Well, the judge is a very important man. I should have done that. I know. And Bobby wanted you to. But you weren't there, so I called him myself. Well, listen, young lady, you just don't pick up a phone and call people like that. You should have waited for me. Waited for you? I did more than that. I went out to try and find you. Find me? Yes. I called the restaurant where you were at, but you left specific orders that you did not want to be disturbed. So I went there myself because it was so important. And there you were, hugging some tall, gorgeous blonde who seemed to know you pretty well. That woman happens to be a business associate. Ah, another business associate? Like the one that you were hugging at the barbecue? Only this time you weren't just hugging her. You were groping her and kissing her, and you probably spent the rest of the afternoon in bed with her. That's a hell of an assumption on your part. You didn't come back to the office all afternoon. J.R., how could you do that to Sue Ellen? I'd like to know the answer to that question myself. Sue Ellen. You bastard. I knew things between us were too good to last. It's not what it looks like. This girl saw it wrong. Groping and kissing? It's hard to see wrong. She's lying. I'm so sorry, Sue Ellen. I didn't mean for you to hear this. Well, it seems like there's a lot of things you don't mean, but you go ahead and do them anyhow, and people get hurt. I'm not the one hurting people. You are. You've got a lot of gall, young lady. Don't you dare twist it around. It's not Jamie's fault. Well, then whose fault is it? She sees something she doesn't understand and then broadcasts lies all over the place. I'm not lying. The hell you're not. You've been lying ever since you first got here, and I'm sick and tired of it. I want you out of this house and off this property right now. She's not going anywhere. She's a troublemaker, Sue Ellen. I want her out of this house tonight. No! That's OK, Sue Ellen. I don't want to stay here anymore anyway. I've had all that I can take. And you know, J.R., I told you I wasn't going to use that document. I never wanted to hurt the family. But maybe now I will. Maybe now I'll show you just how really you and I am. You heard what she said? I told you we couldn't trust her. It's happening all over again, isn't it? The sneaking around, the cheating. I'm not cheating on you. Shut up. I don't want to hear any more of your lies. She's the one who's lying. I doubt that very much. Jamie and I have built up a wonderful friendship over the past several months, and she cares about it as much as I do. You're the one who ruined it. I told you to leave her alone, stay away from her, but no. You had to destroy that friendship, just like you've destroyed everything else in my life. Sue Ellen, would you listen to me? No, I will not listen to you. Congratulations. You had a wonderful day for yourself, didn't you? You got rid of Jamie, and you got rid of me. I hope she fights you for you and oil. And I hope she wins. Because then you'll know exactly how I feel.